Good morning and welcome back to uh, another morning here at Kooky Towers. I've tried to put my lamp on to make the light a little better. I'm not sure whether it works or not, so I'll just tilt it to one side. It'll give us a little bit of light because it's quite a dark morning. Now, I've been having a bit of a think. It's always dangerous, but um, sometimes it can, becomes fruitful. And so... Um, I've been looking at my lovely flash paints. I love them to bits. They are glorious. Um, really like them. Tried them with some pencils on top. Work like a dream. My only issue is that they are quite an expense. Even the smallest tube at 80 mil, you know, it's kind of like it takes a big chunk out of your budget. And while I do intend to occasionally grab some more of these when I can um, I'm mindful of the fact that you know they, they really are quite expensive um, a lot of our art supplies are I'm not I'm not saying that um, these are more expensive per se than any other thing that you could get and I do love them have to say I love the texture love the colors um, but I was thinking of a cheaper alternative <laughs> You know, my mind goes through these things about 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm thinking, you know, I think, because these are, they are emulsion vinyl. That sounds like household paint. So, kooky brain gets, <laughs> gets a go and I'm thinking, I've got some tester pots. <laughs> I have some tester pots that I could try out as a comparison, you know, just to see how they work out because I appreciate the fact that there are probably much better pigments that go into the flash paint. Um, um, but you know, it's, it's always worth a shot, isn't it? It's always worth a try. So what I'm gonna do, here are my beautiful Wilco tester pots. I've got one in Wizard, which is like a purpley color. I have got, <laughs> I've got one in, at Bumblebee, I have one in Minted, which I am certainly not, <laughs> and I have one in Tropics, which is like a green. So we've got a green, a mint, a, a like a warm yellow, and um, a wizardy purple mauvey colour. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch out the flash paints. I'm going to swatch out the tester pot paints. Uh, in these ones you get 75 mil. I, I don't know what they are now. These, these are probably quite old. I've had them in my cupboard for a while because I was going to do something on the outside with them and never got around to doing it. So let's have a test out and see how they perform. Okay. Right, first of all, let's do our lovely flash paints. I'm grabbing my brush. I've got my, uh, my trusty tester brush here. <laughs> Ooh, bring some water around. Okay. Ooh, that's casting a real weird shadow. Everything. Actually, I'm gonna switch that light off again. It's casting more shadows than none. I don't know what to do with the lighting. Sorry, people. I will try my best to um, swatch these out without too much angst and trouble. Okay, so the, the top ones are going to be the Lefranc and Bourgeois flash paints. This one is the Turquoise Blue, which I love. And the joy of emulsion vinyl paints is the fact that they um, are a lot smoother, they don't leave as many brush strokes and um, you can draw over the top of them because they are very very matte, they're like a velvety matte finish. Again <laughs> that put me in mind of household paints and I've never tried to draw over household paints. Um, I remember back in the day when I used to do my art technician job, um, I used to, um, students used to use up the, the canvases 
and I used to use ordinary household emulsion paint to kind of like re-gesso them because that was the cheapest paint you could get. Um, and there were a lot of canvases, let me tell you that, <laughs> that I re-emulsioned. And that worked really well, you know, so sometimes it took two coats maybe to cover up what was underneath them, but it was still a lot cheaper than gesso. So um, maybe that's where my mind was working when I, when I was thinking about these paints. But I always think it's worth a shot. And if it gives you the chance to try something out, if you're not sure of something, uh, in a cheaper way, because as I say, even the, the smaller tubes of the flash paint are a fair expense if you just want to try something. Then, if we can think of a cheaper option, you can make a, an informed decision. So, hopefully, my thoughts on this will, will pan out. <laughs> Let's put a little bit of this. Come on, don't need much. Especially, I don't want to use up too much of these expensive boys. So these are the flash ones. This is the, um, I think it's a Payne's Gray. I wanted this in a jar, but they didn't have any at the time that were available. I must remember to try and make sure that all the water is out of my brush, because that's going to affect the outcome, isn't it? Anywho, those are the flash paints are swatched. So let's move on to Wizard. <laughs> I did try and give these a quick stir yesterday because they had stood for a very long time. I'm not saying how many years they've been stood in my cupboard, but quite a few. Um, yeah, that's all I'll say on the matter. That just says that they last a long time, so. <laughs> Putting the positive spin on it. Try not to bash the camera with this very long brush that I've decided to use today. Ooh, that's a really nice colour actually. That's going down quite well, I have to say. Do do do, sing your little song while we're waiting. Have you had a lovely Christmas or a, a whatever celebration that you celebrate? Um, I'm, I'm very mindful of the fact that not everyone celebrates in the same way. I celebrate Yule. That's my celebration of choice. Um, but yeah, I hope you've had a nice and restful holiday. Or not restful if that's the kind of holiday you like. If you like a bit of action, hope you got some. <laughs> That sounds very wrong. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, next one. Moving on. Uh, what was this one? Minted. Minted is the next one. I had a lovely Christmas, um, if you were interested. <laughs> I'm sure you all asked, how was your Christmas, Cookie? It was good. I had a good one. And um, my Christmas was filled with all the things that I like, so books and art and all that kind of jazz. Ooh, this is going down nicely too. <laughs> ah, am I going to have enough room for the other two? I think so, yeah. Well, at least it gives us a good sample of, of what is available. And you can shop around for tester pots. <laughs> tester pots here in the UK. Um, these were from Wilco's and their particular own brand of um, paint, emulsion paint should I say, emulsion vinyl. Um, and these were, I think they were like 150 when I bought them. I think they're about 190 something now for a tester pot. But you get 75 million a tester pot, which is a fair amount. So it's a lot cheaper than uh, the flash paint. Right, let's go with this yellow now. Bumblebee yellow. Dry out my brush. Oopsie. Trying not to make a mess on my newly clean desk. 
it's always great I clean my desk I don't know if it's the same for you guys I clean my desk and then the next minute I want to do something of the most messy kind of work ever usually charcoal or something <laughs> pastels and um, yeah that's the way it goes make everything nice and neat and tidy and then instantly mess it up with the messiest art supply you can think of Well, these are going down really nicely I have to say the last one we've got to test here is the tropics one I do again apologize for the lighting um, I'm sat here by the window and it is currently what quarter to ten in the morning and usually we've got quite quite a good amount of light coming in this window but it's winter so you know you <laughs> until I get my lighting system sorted out which I intend to do this year I'm waving my brush at everyone I intend to do something with my camera and something with the lighting to make it a better situation for when we have darker days like this now I appreciate with the uh, emulsion you are going to be limited to what colours are available in the particular line that you want and there's going to be a lot of like beiges and <laughs> magenta magenta um, but saying that there's a lot more funky colors now I know Wilco as especially have got a really good range of like funky colors and I'm hoping that this works out so I can nip <laughs> nip down there and grab a few more of their funky colors to to uh, add into my selection of emulsion emulsion vinyls I am sure that there is a big difference between these and these in their makeup or if there isn't and it doesn't make that much of a difference I mean the smell from there is no smell from any from either of them so the flash paint I'm gonna sniff it no it's got a vague a vague smell to it but it's not anything over permeating that gives you I don't suggest anybody sniffs paint by the way uh, I was just giving you a little example of the fact that they don't have an overpoweringly awful smell even after being <laughs> stored three years in the case of my uh, little tester pots so I'm gonna go away now we've got a little sample of these hopefully the light might be a little better when I come back she says with her fingers crossed so that I can test these out and we're gonna test them out with some pencils I've got a set of pencils on my desk I have no idea what brand they are I think they're such a cheap brand that came free with the set but I stick them on my desk because they're nice just to use when I want to do a quick sketch or something uh, so we're going to try those on them. We're going to try the cheapest pencils that I own on some of the cheapest paint I've just put down on a piece of paper. <laughs> Welcome to the cheap show. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back in a second and we'll test them out. Okay, so I am back. Um, the samples have dried. Um, this is one coat of each. I would say that on some of them you probably need two but I would equally say that on some of the um, the flash paint as well um, that one might have been a little bit of water that I had too much in my brush but you know we're gonna get a, an idea of how these work against these they they all feel very similar two together no they they all feel quite velvety so um, I've got high hopes <laughs> so let's bring in the pencils that's my very cheap cheap and cheerful set of pencils of which brand I do not know there is no branding on them they just say let me move that out of the way because that's casting a horrible shadow they just say things like burnt umber on them right this one is white <laughs> gonna try it see what it goes like oh so it shows it very well as I knew on the flash paint I'm just doing a variety of little marky marks on there let's see if I can find a black one that's gray black okay 
So, as I already knew, the flash paint's going to take these really well. So, and these are my cheapest pencils, bearing in mind. <laughs> so, um, if these work, then certainly my Derwent drawing pencils are going to go on here like a dream, as are the luminance. Let me bring you down a bit closer, I'm mindful so that you can see the, the detail. So these are lovely. Uh, black's not going to show up on there. Let's try a different colour. Let's try, I oh know, yellow. Yep. All work on there really well. Let's figure out another colour I can try. So we've got like a magenta -y colour on there. Is it magenta? Yeah, dark magenta. And uh, let's see if we can find another lighter one. Light magenta. Why not? So, all in all, Le Franc Bourgeois flash paints are great for pencil. And I'm going to be doing some more work with these over the coming new year. So I think we can agree that they all look pretty good, right? Okay. Let's go on to our Wilco <laughs> Emulsion Tester Pots and see how they fare. So for this wizard colour, I'm going to try um, white. Oh, yeah. I think that's a win. Definitely takes pencil rather nicely. Mm. Maybe that's just the colour of it. Perhaps the yellow didn't show up quite as well. Oh, black shows up perfectly. Beautiful, have to say. Uh, let's try a very light blue. Yeah, 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 that's working. I'm wobbling the table, but it's all working. Okay, let's go on to our minted. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at that how well that shows up. Let's try the white on there. Again, shows up nicely. Obviously the darker colours are going to show up better on the lighter ones, and the lighter ones are going to show up better on the darker ones. But I have to say, I have to say that this is a win. Because look how nicely this goes down on this yellow. And this is something I'm wanting to work with. I'm wanting to work with the uh, pencil on um, like an acrylic base. Obviously you can do it on any acrylic but it's not, it really isn't going to show up because of the glossiness of acrylic. Emulsion vinyl is, it's the stuff you put on your walls and, and if, you, if you've got children I would imagine you know how well pencil goes down on, on those walls. Say no more, say no more. I might have been a child that drew on walls when I was a child. I was child that drew on <laughs> Disclaimer. But I, I'm going to take this as a win. Absolutely going to go down to Wilco's <laughs> and grab me some tester pots because this is just going to make my selection of these kind of paints that much bigger. For that much less. Look even the white works on that beautifully. Ha 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 ha. I'm gonna be enjoying playing with these so much. Maybe it's slightly better on the, the flash paints, maybe, but if you want to try it out and you don't want to go to a great amount of expense, Get yourself down to your local hardware store and grab yourself some emulsion tester pots. Make uh, sure that they're like emulsion mat. They usually are tester pots. Um, I don't think I've ever seen any gloss emulsion tester pots or, or maybe satin. Don't go for that one. But just the basic bog standard um, emulsion paint seems to work really well. 
And I'll leave you with that thought. Uh, probably meet you down in, in Wilco's. <laughs> I'll be fighting you for that orange, the Spanish orange colour. <laughs> Have a great day. If you've enjoyed the content that you have seen here today, please give me your thumbs, show me your thumbs, um, because that does make a big difference with the algorithm here on YouTube for my particular channel. We're only a small channel at the moment. We're going to grow. We're growing, but we're, you know, makes a big difference. If you've got any experience with this kind of stuff, if you've got any concerns about the emulsion paint or anything, or if you um, know and you've tried this yourself, please leave me some comments down below. Always happy to listen and converse with people who know more than I do. This, is, this was just a, a whim in my head and uh, thankfully I think it looks like it's paid off. Um, but if you know more about this, let me know. If you know the, about the makeup of the Le Franc Bourgeois, I know it does say on the side, I'm not sure what's in the tester pots. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to look later though, and then um, as I'm nipping down to Wilco. So yeah, like, subscribe if you like the content that I'm showing here. Um, uh, you know, it's, it just, just, just makes, makes it easier for you if you're enjoying it and you want to see what I'm doing. Also, click the bell and that will tell you every time I upload here on the channel. Have a great day and I will see you very, very soon. Bye for now.